Okay, James P. Madonna here. Royal Hibachi. Royal Hibachi uh, Grill, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. I'm starting off with some duck, and it looks like I got here just in time. Commodore Jeff Zambello. I think, well, got, can't be too fussy, you know. You know how duck is, a lot of fat, a lot of bone, but okay. at least I got my choice of pieces. Let's see. See what I can find here. Uh, uh, you know, what, what are you going to do? Uh, a little, little on the bony side, but what are you going to do? Duck is bony. Bony and fatty. Uh, Alright, let's see what else we got. Uh, uh, cock dribble. Oh, what do we got here? Hmm. Huh. I wonder if those are lamb ribs. So you got a new thing now. They got covers on certain items. Yeah. The tilapia fish. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'll take a piece of tilapia fish. I don't know why they used to call it St. Peter's fish. I have no idea. It's actually an African cichlid from the Nile River, to be honest with you. And then it became popular in fish farming throughout the world. Throughout the world. A little surf and turf. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, though. I don't know what kind of ribs they are. I have to go on the other side. Got some grilled calamari. Uh, teriyaki. Okay, you've seen that here before. Got some calamari tails and body, tongue tit and tail. The three, the three rules of dating, Commodore Jeff Zambello. An old friend Tony used to tell me, uh, by the first date you should be get, getting tongue, by the second date you should be getting tit, and by the third date you should be getting tail. If you don't get tail by the third date, then you are only destined to be friends. Tongue tit and tail rule of dating we get the back back fin of the calamari there you go tongue tit and tail surf and turf all right what kind of ribs we got there oh lamb breast oh how about that lamb breast how about that whiting yeah, yeah. peasant Pe peasant's fish See what we got here. I'm gonna, definitely gonna get some of those, uh, some of that breast o lamb. That's for damn sure. Ah, uh, here we go. Breast o lamb. Sacrificial lamb, Jeff Zambell. The sacrificial lamb. I mean, I don't know. Pretty, pretty big ribs here, though, huh? All right. I think, I think my plate is full. Hey, you just put out more tilapia. How about that? More tilapia. That's oh, lamb. All right. What do we got here? Squish squash? Squish squash again. Royal abachi. French toast. Hot dogs. Uh, what do we got over here? Yeah, fried chicken. Chicken licking. It's delicious, but I, I can see chicken anytime. Uh, breaded fried butterfly shrimp. Not the coconut version, the regular version. Ah, you know what? I'll take take a couple. Being that I don't have much room, right? I'm gonna need a steak knife, that's for sure. I'm gonna need a steak knife. Passing through, I might as well get it now. Steak knife. Okay, now. Here's a good bird's eye view of my food, right?
Let me get some lemons for my water. Most refreshing drink known to man is ice, a lemon ice water. All right, there we go. Gonna need some lemons. Color coordination. What's that? Oh, those are oranges. Okay, fresh pineapple. Where are they? Here we go. Color coordination. All right, you got that? I don't know. coordination. Alright. Oh, these are the black mussels. Ah, not the, the not the New Zealand ones. These are the black mussels. Okay, the pink ones, of course, being the female. And the grayish ones being the male. I'd never had them in this fashion before. Northeastern cold water black mussels. The kind you usually find with mussels marinara. All right. In. I'm gonna try that. Okay, here we go. Got some Mongolian barbecue action, Royal Abachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Look at all that shrimp. The vapors of Life, Commodore Jeff Sambel, the Vapors of Life. They'll saute in those onions. Adding a little salt to all those veggies and shrimp. A lot of shrimp. Got the king of all Mongolian barbecues right there. The king is right there. And there we go. Look at that. Look at all that shrimp. There it goes. Some real optimum Mongolian barbecue action here at the Royal Hibachi Buffet. Even though it's not as packed as it was on um, Black Friday, but oh, somebody wants a fried egg. Look at this. Fried eggs. What is this? Uh, breakfast time here? Mongolian breakfast? Right here, too. Pina. Mon Mon Mongolian desayuno. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Mongolian desayuno? <laughs> oh my god, look at that. This is the first this is the first time I'm I have this on um, video here at the Mongolian barbecue station. Somebody wanted a three eggs. Look at that. Three wavos. They're going to be in ecstasy. Exact ecstasy. When they get the shrimp veggies grilled along with the uh, three eggs. And we're not yoking around either, people. 
You know, Jeff Zambella, we're not yoking around at all. This person is going to be in Mongolian barbecue ecstasy. The Mongolian breakfast is what it is. Look at that. Fresh eggs, bright orangey yellow color. Look at that. Uh, the vapors of life are, are back again. Oh yeah, this guy's the king. This guy's the king. Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Eggs over easy? <coughs> or is or is it eggs over sleazy? That is the question. Over easy or over sleazy? I remember when uh, I think it was Larry Fine said to Mo Howard, how do you like your eggs? He said, sunny side down, but don't flip them. Sunny side down, but don't turn them over. I tell you, talk about multitasking. This guy's the king. Oh, one of the shrimp got lost. I don't know. All right, two finished products right there. Two finished products. Don't, don't crimp the shrimp, people. Here come the eggs over sleazy. Look at that. Eggs over. Oh, one in each dish. One in each dish. Look at that. Three eggs, three plates. How about that? Look at that. There we go. Alright, that's enough. Now it's time for me. A little more vapor. Jeff Zambella, a little more vapor of life. More vapor. All right, it's time for a little fruit de mar here. Fruit de the mar, the broth of the sea. Look at that. Calamari. Yeah, what do we got? Ooh, that's calamari and a cherry stone clam, right? Yeah, we got here. We got, uh, ooh, we got shrimp, cherry stone clam, and a muscle. And a muscle. Right? What do we got here? Well, I see a lot of broth, man. A lot of broth. A lot of. Oh, look at that golden color. Look at that golden color. Which means a buttery taste. Oh. Look at this. Broth of the sea. Look at that. Can't be beat, man. Can't be beat. Let's see what we got down here. Get some shrimp, uncrimped. There we go. Uh, what we got here? Got some black, some black muscles. Black muscles. What is this? It's like slipping out of my my tongue. It's almost like it's still alive. What the hell's going on here? Look at this. I tell you, that broth looks really good. That broth looks really good. Cherry stone clam. Or is it a quahog? Jeff Zambello. Ooh, we get another black muscle. Love those black muscles with a little broth, a little cock dribble. All right, uh, another crimp, another crimp shrimp. Ah, that should be enough. I don't know how I'm gonna scoop. No, there's a spoon here. What am I doing? I'm worried about using the tongs for God's sake. Uh, yeah, look at that. There you go. That's that's a beautiful, beautiful sight. 
beautiful work of art. All right? All right. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Krampus, where are you when we need you? Where are you when we need you? Unsupervised, uh, obese child uh, trying to dive into the ice cream freezer. Krampus, oh Krampus, where are you? Oh, where are you, great Krampus? Unsupervised, unsupervised children messing up the ice cream station. Okay, before my ice cream, I decided to get some fresh pineapple and what looks like a sort of German chocolate cake, but I could be wrong. Okay. But looks good. Here's a tre leche. Latin delight, tre leche cake, which they started to massacre. But uh, I'm not in the mood for it, to be honest with you. This chocolate cake looks good. But I'm not, I'm not really into icing, too sweet for me. So that's about it. And then I'm gonna hit the infamous ice cream station. Probably get chocolate or chocolate chip mint, either way. Either flavor. All right, we got a little extra Mongolian barbecue action going on here. A lot of noodles, some shrimp. Um, you see one slice of uh, beef. It's a diff different man doing it. The other one, I don't see him right now. Wow, this is deep and helping of a lot of high pro protein, ketogenic diet. Got shrimp, you got beef, you got some onions here and there. Mostly uh, a, a, a carnivorous uh, mixture. Commodore Jeff Zambello, look at that. They call that the uh, Atkins ketogenic uh, diet or the paleo diet. Look at that. Look at all that protein. That looks really good. Okay, we got the vapors of life going. Oh, he's cutting up the chicken. He, he should get one of those serrated spatulas that they sell, you know? It'd be easier for him to cut up. Oh, here comes the king. Here's the king right now. The king of Mongolian barbecue is back. Oh, look at that. This guy's busy. This is, this, look at the action here. He works very hard, this man, you know, because people are really picky and with the, uh, the, the seasoning and sauces that they want on their food. Very, very high demand, uh, general public um, occupation. The good thing I'm not doing it. I got no patience for anything or anybody. Is that vodka? Oh no, I think it's water actually. Nah, I'm only kidding, it's water. I'm joking around. Okay, well, 
This man is the undisputed king of all Mongolian barbecue. Okay, finished product. Finished product number one. All right. Okay, that's it. That's the end of uh, this. Uh, actually, it's the end of November 2018. This is my um, lunch buffet in honor of Krampus, in celebration of Krampus. Uh, Festivus for the rest of us and winter solstice Yule. Here's chocolate ice cream. You think you think I piled it high enough, or should I pile it higher than this? What do you think? What do you think? I got it from the ice cream station. The, I, it, it was a full tub of chocolate ice cream, a full tub. All right, beautiful. Okay. <coughs> All right, Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Signing off for this Friday. Have a safe and pleasant weekend, people.